Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about GATE. GATE exam is conducted by IITs. Uh, I hope you know that IITs have also started providing courses in MSc in Cognitive Psychology and I guess MA also in Psychology. So if you guys have already registered for GATE exam for Psychology paper and haven't started preparation yet or don't know what to do in final 20 days, Today, I am going to share my strategy with you for the final 20 days before GATE to ace that exam. Before we start our video, guys, if you think that my channel is helping you prepare for your MA Psychology entrance exam better, then please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any video that comes up on my channel. Now, let's get started. Guys, if you have registered for GATE and if you have not started preparation yet, then today is the day when you start your preparation. And trust me when I say this, if you prepare today and if you follow the strategy that I am telling you, I am sure 80 to 90% of you will be able to score really nice marks in gate exam and even if you don't then this will act as a catalyst for your preparation for further psychology related masters entrance exams so i think this will be really beneficial for you and it is not a big commitment you just have to commit 20 days of your life to start your gate preparation and end it and the fun part is you just have to give one hour every day i am a student third year psychology major student, I understand that you have projects, internships, exams, other entrance exams that you need to prepare for. I also have to. So I have made it so concise that you can do it anytime. You just have to give one hour, but one hour without procrastination will lead you to IIT. Even if you don't take admission in IIT, it will be very good for your portfolio. So just give this exam with the utmost de determination and utmost preparation that you can do. Okay, now let us come to strategy. Gate exam has three sections. The first one is logical reasoning, which has 10 questions. The second one is RC, which has 15 questions. And the third one is psychology, which has 40 questions. The major chunk of our exam. Now let us first talk about logical reasoning. Logical reasoning only has 10 questions. Uh, 5 of them are for 1 marks. 5 of them are for 2 marks. There is negative marking in almost a lot of questions in GATE. I'll talk about how to give the exam that strategy later when we have 5-6 days prior to GATE. That time I'll post that video. But today let us talk about preparation strategy. So. Only 10 questions are there for logical reasoning. I have given 2-3 mock tests. I know um, that gate logical reasoning for psychology is 9-10th level mental ability. Uh, if you have given Olympiads then you know 9-10th mental ability. Uh, that level it is. So you need not worry much about logical reasoning. Uh, if you think that it is really tough then you can try solving questions from NTSC book. Um, or Olympiad mental ability or you can put on internet logical re reasoning basic questions and then you can try solving it or better if you are preparing for TISNET or other Christ or other um, MA entrance exam then I am sure you are already doing a lot of logical reasoning exercises just keep doing it don't do anything else for it your logical reasoning part will automatically be sorted and even if you don't score too well in it, you will leave some questions, it's okay. You have to focus much more on English and psychology because they have major questions in the exam. So let us go to the next part of our exam, which is English. English basically is reading comprehension uh, and reading comprehension is moderately tough in GATE. So what we can do for RC is 
if you are already preparing for reading comprehension for testnet and for christ and other en entrance exams then go ahead with that but if you are not preparing for anything and if you want to newly start then on internet you can type uh, reading comprehension exercises or 1000 reading comprehension practice or 100 reading comprehension practice uh, and you can download rc's a PDF of RC of 100 or 500 RCs and just solve one RC every day and don't solve it just like that put a timer on and solve it so if your RC is of 500 words it has five questions then put a timer on for five minutes and solve it in five minutes if it has nine questions then put a timer on for nine minutes and then solve it uh, so that you get the habit of solving in time if you solve it like this, you will need very less time for RC exercise. Maximum time you will need is 10 minutes. Uh, so your English practice is done. Every day you just have to solve one RC and your English practice is done. Now let us get to the major chunk of our gate exam. That is psychology. The syllabus of gate psychology paper is similar to all MA entrance papers, a lot of MA entrance papers and uh, a lot of that syllabus is covered in our BA syllabus itself. So if you are a BA psychology major, BA psychology honors, BSc psychology, whatever, if you are a psychology special student, then congratulations, your degree will finally come in use. Uh, and if you are not a psychology special student, don't worry, I will tell you today how to study main topics of psychology and still clear the exam, okay? Uh, so what we will do is first of all we will buy two books. The first book is GRE Psychology Subject Test. This book is amazing, trust me. Uh, this book covers a lot of basic concepts of psychology which it explains really nicely. So you need not refer any other source uh, to get yourself acquainted with the concepts of psychology. Okay. Uh, this book also has a few MCQs, not many, and we will look further how to utilize this book in terms of MCQs also and knowledge also. The second book you will buy is Objective Psychology. I will show you the picture. I don't have the book yet. I have ordered it, but yeah, huh. this is the book that you will buy. Um, this book, I am suggesting this book because it comes in 150 rupees and um, I think 150 rupees is enough investment for 20 days. But if you can buy more expensive books, then there are other types of MCQ books for psychology for 400, 500, 1000 rupees, which I will mention in the description box. Uh, you can buy any of them for your MCQ practice. Now, what you can do is... First of all, on the first day, we have 18 days, correct? Um, if we start from today, we have 18 days. So on the first day, we are giving GATE mock test. I will mention in the description link where you can download GATE 2021 paper and GATE 2022 mock test. So on the first day, you appear for GATE 2021 paper. The only work you have to do on the first day is give the paper, score yourself and analyze what you are good at, what you are not good at. Okay. If you are not good at a certain topic, you got two, three answers wrong, then write it down. Write everything down. Every question, its topic, you got it right or you didn't get it right. And then finally write down three things. Topics you are very good at write that down then another is topics that you could have done right but because of concept uh, confusion you couldn't do it so a little revision will ensure that you will do that question right this is another and the last one is topics that are completely out of your mind you can't do it you have to read it from the scratch which you don't want to do right now okay so what we'll do first of all is keep the third part aside. We will not do that right now. If we get time, we will do it. 
but we will focus on topics that we are we know and topics that we can brush up a little and then we can do well in it now these two topics first of all we will start with gre psychology subject test book the gre psychology subject test book has 10 chapters in it out of these 10 chapters the first two chapters they are about explanation of the test and explanation of the book so we need not focus on that the final eight chapters are what we have to focus on now after every chapter there are 8 to 10 mcqs i want you to complete all mcqs in two days if one chapter has 8 mcqs that means four chapters have 32 mcqs right yes so we can complete 32 mcqs in 20 minutes we need not ponder a lot upon one mcq if we do one mcq in 40 second 50 second we can complete 32 mcqs in 20 minutes same maximum 25 minutes so in two days we will complete the whole gre psychology subject test book now while completing those mcqs i also want you to check that mcq at the end and see what topic you are doing wrong if you are doing a certain topic wrong write it down so this much is clear the first day you give your mock test then two days you solve rc that practice you keep that going on and you solve gre psychology subject test mcqs of all chapter then the fourth day you take your objective psychology book that small book and you put a timer of 30 minutes and you solve as much mcqs as possible in 30 minutes after that you check it and see what topic is very tough for you you are not able to solve you write it down now you have a list of topics that is tough for you which you have written down it should not take more than 15 to 20 minutes to revise a small topic uh, so again for revision put a timer of 30 minutes and start revising the topic from the list from gre psychology subject test book why i am suggesting this book only because it has fundamental concepts it clears your concepts like anything and once concepts are clear now you can use logic also to solve your mcqs so that is why i am suggesting this book so let's revise again the first day you give mock test then first two days you solve mcqs from gre psychology subject test book analyze it write your weak points the third day you solve objective psychology mcqs for 30 minutes and for 30 minutes you revise the concepts that are weak for you so from third day to 17th day for 15 days you solve mcq for 30 minutes and you revise concepts for 30 minutes and you solve one rc for 10 minutes you have to give one hour 10 minutes every day so that you are done with your psychology studies and your rc studies and on the last day on the 18th day you give one gate mock test of 2022 again once you give that mock test you calculate your score and you will see after following this 20 day schedule you will get a score above 70 if you don't get that means you procrastinated and you didn't follow the schedule with full focus i am telling you honestly if one day also you procrastinate if i also procrastinate then all this is going to go in vain and on the exam day the score is not going to be the way you or i want if we want to crack this we have to focus and it is only one hour of focus i tell you how to focus for one hour and one hour is also divided after the first 3 days one hour is divided into half hour mcq half hour revision and 10 minutes rc 10 minutes rc you can do any time you have to sit in one place you have to make your mind focused and you have to put a timer of 10 minutes and solve rc right for half half hour session also do the same thing just put a timer of 30 minutes and put your mobile in front of you just don't look anywhere when you are solving your mcqs 
look in your book and get a competition with yourself that today if you solve 40 mcqs tomorrow you have to solve 50 mcqs in the same time okay so if you compete with yourself then you will not do time pass here and there or else what will happen you will put a timer of 30 minutes and then you will start looking here there you will start thinking about something else you will start searching something else on google and once that spiral starts then there is no going back so just just put a timer focus give your full attention to mcqs and finish it and for revision also do the same thing if you have revised one topic today just make it a point that tomorrow you have to revise one and a half topic and day after tomorrow you have to increase your speed and revise two topics so be in this constant competition with yourself and it's not for a long time it's only for 20 days so if you do this i am sure you will cover all your syllabus you will cover a lot of mcqs you will cover you should cover ideally around 1500 to 2000 mcqs if you do this religiously and you should cover 20 reading comprehension practice um, in one hour practice every day and you should be very very ready for gate exam i hope this motivated you enough and i hope this was informational i hope you start giving gate mock tests today uh, and i hope you get a really good score if you follow this strategy if you get a good score because of this strategy please let me know and if you want me to make any other strategy video then also please let me know all the best for your gate preparation and i hope you all get an offer from iit i hope we make ourselves proud and I hope we all get the confidence to do better in other entrance exams also. So all the best and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.